Hello and welcome to Transfer Market TV. I'm Ben Littlemore and I'm joined by my colleague who is part of our Turkish team, Lara Karakan. And today we are talking about, and I've had a lot of help from Lara with the pronunciation, I'll probably still mess it up, Semir Kilicsoy. Is that good? Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Uh, so he's a 19-year-old striker for Besiktas who's been linked with a number of Premier League clubs in recent weeks, um, including Tottenham, Brighton um, and Nottingham Forest. At just 19 years of age, he's already played three times for Turkey, including one appearance at the Euros this summer. Um, but Lara, what kind of player is he? And at 19 years old, how excited should we be about Kilic Oh, really important question. A really good question. Um, so he, everyone knows Kuna Guerrero, I guess. So if you can imagine him, then he is very similar to the playing style Semich Kilisoy has. So he is very compact, uh, very um, strong forward, but he can also play on the left or, or on the wings. Um, and he's a very dynamic player with a good, uh, good shoot, <laughs> can we say that so? Um, and for his age, of course, for the Turkish league, he Last season, he was phenomenal um, because the Turkish league is known for for the strength they have. So it's not so easy for a young uh, talent to establish there. But Semih Kilicsoy was in a minute there and uh, showed his talent also with his assists and his goals. So to to sum it up, uh, if you know Kun Aguerrero, then I would say you can uh, compare him with him. I think you're going to have a lot of Spurs, Brighton and Nottingham Forest fans very excited when they hear Sergio Aguero getting touted. They're going to want to sign him up in January. Um, so you have spoke at 19 years of age, the impact he's already had on the Super League. Would you describe him as, as one of, if not the brightest young talent in the division? <laughs> That's a hard question, to be honest, because Besiktas has also a second uh, second young talent with Hakim Olo, also linked with Fulham in the in the summer. So both are for Besiktas uh, the really brightest shining talents. Of course, Kilso is uh, more established now in the Super League, of course. But you can say um, that Semich has a phenomenal start, but now in the daily business, I can say um, he has to find his way again because now Besiktas has also a strong um, squad with all the star players, also with Rafa Silva and Giro Immobile. And now we can see that he has to put some more work on to be in the starting 11 yes but his his talent is of course one of the biggest in in turkey hmm. yeah i know he's he been a substitute for the last three games but i guess if you're competing with the likes of chiro immobile uh, and rafa silva it's not going to be easy to start every week at 19. um just yes. as a more general question Turkish fans must be quite excited right now. So you've got Kenan you know, Yildiz smashing it at Juventus. Arda Gula's obviously had a great summer at the Euros, doing so well at Real Madrid. You have other young talents like um, like Kilic Shoy coming through. Is this like a bit of a golden era, potentially, for young Turkish players? Yeah, you can say so, because they are all born in 2005. So this is maybe the golden era. Also, Jan Uzun, you can um, count Ozon him he is now in frankfurt and so these are big hopes in turkey in this era i can say because you can see also in the turkish national team that they um that montella our head coach includes these young players also and i think our um squad our turkish squad with these talents I can imagine everything in five years because you can, as you said before, Kenan is a superstar now in Juventus, Arda. Um, of course, Real Madrid is hard, but he's all, also playing there. So I would say this is this can be a new golden generation, yeah. It's for very exciting times. Hopefully your golden generation goes better than England's <laughs> golden generation. Um, <Yeah>. well, back, back. <laughs> 
back to uh, okay. Kilic Soy. Um, he has a 12 million market value at the moment. Um, what sort of fee do you think Besiktas would demand if, say, Tottenham or Brighton were to move for him in January? Yes, yeah, as I said, also, um, it is um, the Turkish clubs always demand more because they know how uh, valuable their, especially the Turkish players are because of the foreign rule the Turkish Super League has. So I would say because also of his age, he's a very young player and also the Turkish teams know that for young talent, top clubs um, really pay more than yeah, they no, has yeah. to. So um, last year we can we can say all of the Besiktas board and the president said under 30 million euros they wouldn't sell Simic to so. Wow. Okay, that, that's quite so a lot if more if than his market if value. It, yeah, <laughs> so if it's his market value, it's another question, but when would if you ask me what they demand, they demand mm. 30, but of course, when Semich want to go and to to a club, then they would say, okay, maybe yeah. in another 20 million euros or something like that. But it's speculation, of course. Of course. Um, you did, you've mentioned about the, um, just for some of our viewers who might not be aware of it, would you just give us a brief explanation of the foreign players rule in the Turkish Super League? Mm -hmm. So they change every season, so it's difficult <laughs> to catch up. So the current rule is that you have um, 11 foreign players in your squad and every 11 players can play in the first, um, in the lineup, in the first lineup, but you cannot include more than this. So when you, and, and in your squad in general, you can have 14. So some foreign players have to be on the tribune if there is no place in the squad. Okay. So it makes a lot of sense what you're saying about the, um, the Turkish players being very valuable to their clubs at the moment, especially yes. the talents like Kilic Soy. Um, with Kilic Soy, he's, he, he's obviously, this would be my final question. He's, he's only 19. Um, do you, do you think he's ready to move to the Premier League? Say your club came in in January? Depends on which club, I guess. So, so Yeah, well, I mean, any club's going to be hard to get in out of those three. So let's say it's Brighton true. that move him. <laughs> um, I want to be honest. I guess some Turkish fans don't want to hear that. But I think if you want to... Um, by like Semich Kut, so you have to wait one year or a half year because um, I think he has talent and also has the abilities to have the qualities for the Premier League. But I don't know if he's ready to perform like one to hundred percent. You can see it now on Kerem to Benfica. That was a quick adaptation, right? So he was there in the starting line and then he scored. If you expe expect that from Semich Kilipso, I think we would be disappointed. Even Arda Güler had some issues, especially for the young players, of course. Um, so I would say, yes, they he would be ready, but not for this season where they would buy him. So it's mm. more a long term um long term transfer or player, I would say. Yeah, I think that's very fair. Um, once again, Lara, thank you so much for your insight into um Kilic Shoy. I remember for a long time you linking uh, comparing him with Sergio Aguero. Um if you like <laughs> this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget you can also check out Semir Kilic Shoy's uh player profile on the transfer market website. Thank you, Lara, and thank you very much for listening.